you are watching F De V. Good morning, Foothill. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And you're watching show 32 of FTV. Remember the Rams? Well, they're back in California, and what better way to welcome them back with a very sweet episode with Cooking with Kyle. cake mix. So we're gonna follow the box instructions today and it says to preheat the oven to 350 which we already did. We're gonna want to open up the cake mix. Well, make sure you save these little box tops. They're really good for school. You know? so you're gonna... Save that, save that. Next, you're gonna add your water. Next, your eggs. And then you're gonna wanna mix all that up. After that, you're gonna wanna pour what you just mixed into a cake pan. Depending on how big your pan size is, you're gonna have to cook it at different lengths, but it's around 30 to 45 minutes, so you're gonna put that in the oven. And every 10 minutes, you're gonna wanna take a toothpick and check it. So, it's been about 35 minutes, we're gonna take a toothpick and check if it's ready. You'll know when it's ready when it comes out clean. We're not going to ice it just yet because we still have to cut it out in the shape of a ram's head. This is a picture we're using to base off of our drawings. icing over the cake. Next, you're gonna pipe up some white frosting. This is the face. What happens when you're told you're going to be in a music video, but the music is never added? Reporter Sebastian Moreno and photographer Luis Nicasio pull off a prank. Hey, Sebastian Moreno here on the Foothill campus. And um, we're telling kids to be in music videos, and we're not adding any music. I lied. Inspired by Joseph Costello. Wait, what is that? Video or picture? I don't know what the song it is to. 
dancing to nothing. I'm gonna be like that, that white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Christine Hogariki and Tara Natley <laughs> capture Foothill's very own Minute to Win It challenge. All right, Knights, I'm Tara Natley, and we have our first Minute to Win It challenge. We have Cameron McBride and Eileen Harrison kicking it off with Cookie Face, where they have to eat a chocolate chip cookie starting from their forehead, going all the way down to their mouth. <laughs> all right. Five seconds to spare. I'm so talented right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Take that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Tune in next time for the tiebreaker. Okay, good morning, guys. Um, I'm Miss Flores, and my favorite song is Tupac, Dear Mama. Um, I'm not sure how good I am because I'm not Tupac, by all means, but here you go. Let me sing a couple of verses. When I was young, me and my mama had beef, 17 years old, kicked out on the streets. But back at the time, I never... So I don't even know the rest of it anymore. My favorite song is actually a Christmas song called Good King Wenceslas. Good King Wences locked it out on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. My favorite music would have to be Shakira, because my hips don't lie. My favorite song would probably be by Weezer, um, Only in Dreams, off the Blue Album. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just sing the chorus because there's like a long three minute intro. You probably don't want me to do that part. Okay, so the chorus. Um, Only in dreams, see what she means. Oh, that's wrong. Reach out my hand, hold on to hers. And there's more. Uh, thinking about it, probably one of the classics, La Bamba. Para bailar la bamba se necesita un poco de gracia pa mi pati y arriba y arriba. Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. If I go crazy, then would you still call me Superman? If I'm alive and well, will you still be holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman my. Hi, I'm Brooke with today's sports. Congrats to both girls and boys basketball for their insane wins over Canyon. And special shout out to Jacob Sanchez and Paulo Rahlo for their insane blocks. And congrats to girls water polo for their win over Brea Linda 19 to three. 
Hey guys, so this weekend at Foothill we're having an e-waste drive to recycle your e-waste and um, it's going to be held from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and some things you can bring are things like televisions, monitor computers, old laptops, uh, old phones, all those things that you're trying to get rid of that can't be thrown in the trash can but we can recycle them here. Come by this weekend, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. January 23rd to the parking lot at Foothill to recycle your e-waste. Thank you. Okay. Hi, I'm Kat Vinueva and I'm reporting for FTV. And I'm here with Ms. Stein, who is the uh, French teacher. And she's here to talk to us a little bit about the French foreign exchange students that are coming. Hi, I'm Ms. Stein. Uh, we're going to be hosting French exchange students. They are coming here to learn about our culture because their school life is very different from ours and it also provides the students at Foothill with an opportunity to learn about the French school system and to meet students from another country. We are looking, to, we are looking for students to host um, French exchange students so if you think you might be interested you can come see me in room 220 or you can send me an email and I'll get you some more information. And that wraps it up for today, Knights. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And have a fabulous Thursday, Foothill. <laughs>